G'day and welcome. Uh -huh, that's better. G'day and welcome to the um, saying farewell to our blue starling. Um, pulled everything out of it, got uh, everything ready to go in the green car. The only thing I've put in the green car, <laughs> I did some grommet washing, which is when you're washing grommets. Oh boy, that's dull. But it doesn't matter. We've got the grommets or some of the grommets in and the wiring loom. Um, I didn't film a lot of the um, disassembly of the blue car, like the brakes and that sort of stuff. Um, I took the whole front strut with the brakes on it out, but I didn't, you know, film reassembling the rear drums and all that sort of stuff because I had a real time constraint. That car's gone. It went yesterday, and I wanted to get rid of it very quickly um, once I'd taken everything I wanted because the registration had expired and the cars are worth more when they're registered. So I thought if it had lapsed too long, you know. Maybe it makes no difference, I don't know. But some people have said the price they got from Toyota was considerably more uh, when the car was registered. That being said, the five-door one, the red one we had, the dark red one, that got $2,400, and I, I didn't go for a second offer um, because of the coronavirus thing. I thought they were going to stop it, and everything was just going sort of into hibernation. I didn't know if Toyota were going to do that. Um, and I was also concerned with that, so... What I would normally do in these videos is this is only about 10 minutes or so, probably more by the time I finish doing this ramble and putting the titles on and that sort of stuff. So it's probably going to be 15 minutes, um, which is a lot shorter than we normally do, but there's a reason for that. Um, for those who aren't aware, I'm a high school teacher and one of the subjects I teach is systems. Um, so some are going to like this and some aren't going to like it. I can't do much about that, but I'm in a position where systems, a lot of the system stuff in the school is hands-on. And there's theory components as well. So you do, you know, reduction drives. You do, you talk about electromechanics. You talk about electronics components, what they do, how they work, and all this sort of other stuff. And so what I thought um, to help with the kids, to give them something more visual, is we rebuild the green car um, as a class um, instruction set, which means some of the terminology I use will be different, and the way I speak will be different. Um, in that, you know, if I drop something, it's not going to be, oh shit, you know, stuff, you know, that sort of thing. It's going to be, goodness me, and I pick, do you know what I mean? So I've got, <laughs> look, you'll probably think it's rubbish, right? But I have to do this, and I think it'll be interesting because there's all sorts of uh, fully elect electronic systems in the car. There's electromechanics in it. There's mechanical systems in the car. There's all sorts of stuff in a car, which is there's reduction with your starter motor, with your gearboxes, with your pulleys for your water pumps, all sorts of stuff. It's a um, it's a good source of information for online learning. So when you see it come up, which the next video will be part one, um, you'll there'll be a difference in the video presentation, I guess. It'll look the same kind of, but just in the way I'm speaking about certain things. There'll be a lot of oversimplified stuff and different terminology in terms of it'll be curriculum based um, some of the terminology I'm using. So I hope you don't mind that, but that way I can sort of kill two birds with one stone. I started doing, uh, trying to film one thing and write it twice, and it was just going to become too complicated. So I'm just going to do it this way. It's easier for me, and it means I can bring out the videos quicker. Um, so look, I hope you don't mind with that. Um, but on that note, I hope you enjoy. Oh, well, stuck a plane dash in, and a well, not so nice steering wheel. I'm um, just getting a film of this, the way the wiring's rooted, because it's been a long time since I've taken one out. So I'm going to stop and take some photos and pluck this loom and uh, fit it out as a standard door. These uh, mirrors are quite easy to swap over, not a problem there. I've just put a manual one back. This loom, I photographed on the other side. The easiest way of doing these is to actually take the glass out. It's two bolts, and the thing just slides out. It's dead easy to get all these other bits and pieces out of this side that go over the top of the lock because it's a power door lock. Then we've got to sort of feed it out from in there somewhere. No, it's in there somewhere. Take this, uh, these two trims off and then we're there. This one's already been done. That's a standard door trim there. That's a standard dash. Um, a radio cassette. I kept the genuine Toyota one and the steering wheel is not quite as good. Uh, the power mirrors are gone. That's got the little coin thing over there. I've just got to put the airbag back in. Um, that is all looking pretty good. I might take those visors. They've got the original decals and stuff on them. 
but it's a shame. It's a real shame, but what do you do? Uh, just conglomerating a few bits and pieces. I've got two sets of those electric door locks now, which is good, because I might actually do another car, I'm not sure. I'll just see. I'm not in any great hurry. It's not like I haven't got enough to do here. These brakes are knackered. These are the ones off the green car. And that has got the biggest leap. It was horrendous getting this off because it was over-adjusted. And then I tried to back it off and did it the wrong way. And it's just got the biggest leap. They're knackered. I've taken the good ones. This had brand new ones in. So I've sort of taken them out. And I don't even really go on now. I might have to adjust them back. So I'll persevere with this. Um, and get it on. Uh, but all I want to do, oops, that'll go in. There we go. All I want to do is just get the thing bled, um, put the car out, and um, you know, uh, itchy nose. We we'll use the second hand split pins because I've run out of those. So that's where we're up to at the moment. There's mozzies around. Bit of a comparison between the two. These are new ones. I don't think they were that dear. But there's a hell of a lip on those. That's not as bad as the other one I pulled off. That's not perfect. So, at the time we bought new drums, I don't think they were that dear. Bought new brake linings and wheel cylinders, so I'll swap them all over. Right, well, I pulled this out of the garden. It was stopping the dogs getting out. And <laughs> put something a little bit better there. This is the wheel going with the Starley. It's one of Alana's Corolla wheels. Um, we've got Starlet wheels on everything here. A couple of full sets with brand new tyres, but... This one's going to the crusher because it looks like it deserves to. But first thing I'm going to do is hose it off. Now, oh, quick hose off. A little bit of surface rust on the inside there. It's been out in the backyard for five years. There's some. But um, it's still got air in it, too. So, <laughs> another quality Toyota product. The tail end of taking everything out of this car. Door wiring looms. Extremely hard to get. And the central locking. And to get this out, you're popping the glass out and everything, but it's a very easy glass to take out. Um, I guess now the first thing is to pop the other lock in. So again, this is all stuff from the dark blue car. Although I think I might have had these from that thing we had. Um, oh, I can't remember. I'm going to have to just move the camera though, because I'm worried about the weather. It's overcast and we're touted to have more rain than we've had in a long time. So that is going to throw a spanner in the works. I've got any glass in here. If the glass is in, I can shut the door. But I'm a bit worried about it. Um, the other thing... Hang on, I'm just going to orient this around the right way for the lock. So this is the last thing I'm taking. I was going to take the headlining, but yeah, bugger it. I'll just repair the old one and put it back. It's slightly paler, but it doesn't matter. It's not important at all. But the good thing about these is they're just so wonderful to work on. Absolutely wonderful car. Well, the uh, registration's expired, the insurance is cancelled, and Toyota have been given that horrible phone call to come and pick this guy up. Um, we've taken pretty much everything we need to out of it. Um, uh, the car was 300 bucks, and I think I dropped another 1500 or something in parts. So Dave saw some salt and pepper stuff around the edge of the head gasket and we thought it might need a head gasket but we took it off and it was perfect. So we put a head gasket on anyway or put one in and that was all in 2017. The had a new water pump on it, timing set with the um, tensioners and the belt, had a clutch in it, it had Oh gosh, new drive shafts in it, brand new discs and drums, front and rear, as well as the pads and linings. Uh, all that stuff's been taken. The front struts, the rear shocks have been taken. So basically the front and rear suspension and the engine, the whole drive line I've taken out. The power mirrors have gone. They're the ones off that dark blue one, the manual ones. This is just a manual spec car now, or just a base spec car. And the wiring looms have all gone. The... Um, Actuator relays for the power door locks and the lock mechanisms themselves are all gone. Um, the one over there's got that door trim from the wreck on it, so the central locking switch isn't there. The interior still presents beautifully. The factory Toyota radio is gone. I found a not as nice ashtray and kept the good one. The steering wheel's gone and I've put on a shabby one with the Bluey's steering wheel cover. Um, 
the dash, the instrumentation is standard now. It's all standard. Um, it's got some keys there. There's a bit of Carol Baskin going on there if you watch Tiger King. Um, I've even taken the spare out and put, it was like brand new, and put in a shabby one. Um, even taken those clips out under there. There was only one good one. But this isn't as nice as the other one I've got, so I put that in because it's all getting destroyed. So what's the point in it? Um, basically, being great. I painted the wipers back in 2017. They still look good, but I can paint other wipers with a rattle can. It's pretty easy. So we're waiting on a call from the towie. I'm about to put Rosie's paint. Still looks great. I'm waiting on a call from the towie. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll put it out on the street and await collection. It's going to be a shame to see it go, but all the good stuff's out of it now. Oh, tyres as well. I think I mentioned that. Alana's old Corolla wheels with shabby tyres. They were under the house. One was in the backyard protecting the dogs uh, from getting out. So they've gone on as well. And uh, So the car was around the bucks. It owes me nothing. Last drive of the Starley before we put him out. I've adjusted the handbrake right up because the drums are so knackered and so are the linings, but it doesn't matter. At least we've got a handbrake, sort of. Hang on, let me just try that. <laughs> Not very good, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna drop the camera now, put this out on the street, and bring some other cars in. Hey Charlie, could you just do with the dogs when they bark? I don't believe they're here already. Is it on now? Yeah. I don't believe, I don't believe they're here already. I've only just, I put it out, no kidding, five minutes ago. How do you I'm, feel about the stud? I'm fine, I've taken everything I want out of it. It's yeah. time to squash the bastard. I'd sooner keep it, to be honest. Mm. I don't like the idea that something good has been wasted. How are you feeling? Oh, Not crying yet? No, nah, leave it rolling. The um, I was talking to him. They picked up heaps, absolutely heaps, and he doesn't reckon Toyota knew there were that many still on the road either. <laughs> um, so he said there was a guy selling off four rabs out of his front yard, four rab fours, and the reason for that is because dogs oh, knock it off. They didn't, private sellers don't have to disclose this stuff. This is Starley Euthanasia. We're putting it out of its misery. I've just, um, we've got the Starley on the ramp. Hey. Ivy, what are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? You happy doggy. And the truck is off. We've got Starley loaded. How are you? And we got Starley's all loaded up. And off for some quality euthanasia. How many people have filmed this? It's all over Facebook. Anyway, that's ours gone. No more blue one, no more pale blue one. And no more dark blue one either because it's now green.
What do you reckon? Shit. <laughs> <laughs>